Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Blessing Cosmos from Aquaibum State. This is my little sister, Emanuela Cosmos. We are from Aquaibum State. My mom is from Eche, Beru Omoma local government. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happens when we are when we are small. My father died 1999, July 31st. My mother took us back in 2000. We become a Beru Omoma citizen. I don't know my father's compound. I located my father's compound on 2012. After daddy prophesied here, I decided to take a step. I want to cut my story short. Yes. Uh -huh. My younger sister here, after my grandmother that was taking care of us died, 2014, my uncle, Loris Wankwonwigwe, he's staying at Mboba, number 37, by chief Prince O'Kay Street. Street decided to go with my younger sister. I refused because I know my uncle is not strong to pray himself out. I refused. The wife begged and begged and begged. I decided for her to go. They took my sister on the July 3rd, 2014. Reaching on the Ju August 2014, they called me, my sister is not feeling fine. My uncle said, I know you, 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 you claim you pray too much. I still believe you can pray. I want you to pray for your younger sister. She's very, very down. It was like asking my uncle, what is it? Say, I took her to hospital. They say it's an asthma. I said, ah, <laughs> asthma. He said, queen, this is not time of grammar. I want you to pray. I said, okay. I begin to pray. I took my sister picture. I begin to pray. I begin to pray. Reaching uh, last year, I decided to go and take her for holidays. My sister was very, very down that my uncle did not want to let me know. I cried when I reached there. I told, uncle, I told him, I said, uncle, believe me, you have injured me. He said, what is it? that he had been trying in his own power to see if she will stand. But it's not her, his fault. I said, okay. I took my sister. I came down to church here. We prayed. And she picked assignment. I bought new bango and put in her hand, the two hands. After that time, my sister got her healing. She got back again. When she, she went, went back, back... She went back to the man's house. Yes. When eh? she went back to my uncle's house... That was how my sister had been living all those while. With serious drugs. A lot of inhaler. Those ones are finished. Those are just the remaining ones. Look at it. Look at inhaler. There's another one there too. Can you bring up? Look at. Look at another one. Uh -huh. So when she went back there, they have landline in the house. They stopped my sister using the landline. So my sister doesn't go close to the phone. Reaching this year, December 18th, December 16th, my uncle called me. Queen, I saw uncle, he said, I know you're very, very stubborn. You're so, so stubborn that you don't even have ear to listen. I have tried my best. Your sister is very down. I want you to come and see her so that you will know what to do. I am not talking of you taking her to OPM. I said, okay, uncle, I've heard you. The wife called me on the 18th. I said, queen. I said, uncle, auntie. He said, I have tried on the area of drugs. It's not working. I went and met a woman of God. She said, I should bring 15,000 naira. That will buy monkey head. Are you seeing how people are stupid and foolish? You see how people are stupid and foolish? Open where you come and receive your healing free of charge. You prefer to go and buy monkey head. You get one monkey head. Continue. So, uh -huh. my auntie said that they say, in short, it's not a phone talk. Queen, I say, hey, what are you doing? 
I said, for now, I'm in the house. That was around 8 a.m. in the morning. I accept that. I come to altar here. I challenge God. I said, my father died premature death. My brother died very premature. I did not gain from my father. I did not gain from my brother. Father God, if you are the God, I pay my tithe and my offering. I saw a seed. No matter the little people dash me or the little I walk out, I make sure even if it's 15 naira, I pay my tithe. Doctor Jesus, bypass all protocols. Heal my sister. I cannot stand to bury my younger sister. My brother have already with anger I go and pick her. So my auntie was like, the woman of God say, I should be catching war geku. I should use it and prepare soup for her. Amen. Continue. I kept quiet. I did not challenge her. She was like, uh, it's just that they have not paid us. I don't have money. That is why I look as if I'm just waiting for you to come. But please, I don't want anything to happen to you people. If you have, even if it's 10,000 naira, give me. I will look for 5,000 naira to complete it. This is not... I even poor. Continue. But he said, this is not time for nagging or argument. I know you are a member of OPM. I called her as an TC. I must let you know something. There was a disease that made me to go to OPM. I have a daughter of five years old now. The father was dying in BMH. He's from Amaj in a very normal local government. Chief Angocha Compass. When the guy died, the uncle, one oldest man, asked me to sleep with him. I told him, Father, you were the one that's supposed to die, and not this guy that died. Instead of you to console me, all you can tell me is for me to come and sleep with you. If you try this again, I will go to the town crier and let people to know what you are doing. After seven days, there was this kind of dirty ratchets in my laps. Serious one that I was ashamed of myself. So serious. That was what brought me to OPM 2012. I came here, I bought the oil. That was how I got healing. Clap for that, Jesus. And now they are telling you story, story. And I'm sure in the church, whether your uncle and the wife go, they carry her to go there. The pastor go down, pray, pray, pray. Bind, cast, loose, paralyzed, head boots, and everything. You know what? Uh -huh. So, I took my sister to OPM here. Uh -huh, you brought to I OPM. called her. I said, Emanuela. She said, yes. In our quiet room, we call her Imabong, the love of God. I said, remember, God love you. Before we came to open here, Daddy gave her assignment on the 27th December. Daddy gave her assignment and hit her on her chest. Mm -hmm. She started her assignment on the 31st. Mm -hmm. We entered first. Mm -hmm. Those things that she does not eat, that she does not eat rice and stew, she does not stay on that fan, they say no AC, she must go with, to, to school with drugs. I bet the God of OPM, those drugs that finish, I have never bought paracetamol for her. When I called the wife, I said, see, I'm coming to pick my sister's things. So she was like, is it the trick you decided to take your sister? I said, my sister is here. She's not going back to Egypt. That you cannot come out from Egypt and go back to Egypt. I don't want monkey head. I don't want monkey head. I don't want monkey head. In Egypt, it's monkey head. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Like they said before, my name is Emanuela Cosmos. I school at a CSS room apparent. I want to let this whole church to know that before I go to school, I step at each. I must take drugs. Before the, the day that it happens to me, my seatmates run away from me because they don't know what is happening to me. I was so disappointed. They went and called my basic science teacher. 
my CPC science teacher understand what is happening to me. They stop me from coming to school. They say that the, the, the sickness that I have in is so contagious that nobody should near me. I want to let people that want to take assignment today to know that this assignment that they take is not about to do. It's the kind of prayer point that they will give you when they give it to you. If your faith is strong, you will soon be delivered. And any problem that you have, if you don't have a child and you are looking for a child, believe me that God of OPM will do it for you. Today I'm the one standing here to testify for what of God has done in my life. The day that I did my mercy prayer here, I stand in this world and say, God, if you are the one that brought me to this world, you have a purpose for me. And if you have a purpose for me, don't allow this affliction to take me up. Because my dear, my brother, my father does early. My, my father died early, died early. And my brother died early. The time my mother gave birth to my junior one, the time that I senior, that one don't even know who my father is. He just know it's a true story. I want to stand in this order to testify. That day I was lying down there. I, I was, I just left off. I was in the dream. In that dream, I was going to fetch water. I saw myself in the river carrying bucket to get fresh water. An old woman saw me and said, what are you going to do in this water? This water that you want to find, you don't know if it will succeed or you will be saved. No, go back. Go to Dr. Jesus' backyard. Go there, fresh water and drink. And you will Wait, in the dream? Yes. Is it, don't go that place. Go to Dr. Jesus' backyard. Go to Dr. Jesus' backyard. Don't go to where monkey there. Is she monkey? Is she monkey? Is it chimpanzee? Eh? And I went, the time I went, I saw that he's standing. That is oh, you saw me in the dream? I saw you in my dream standing. Eh? I was lying down there. Eh? Until on 31st, on 31st night, I was here in the morning to do my mercy prayer. Mm -hmm. I saw that the dear standing. That is say I should take the water and drink that I will receive my healing. But the water is not rushing much. But the place that you will see that the water is flowing, you will not get what you are looking for. But this one that is rushing small, small, that you will see what you are looking for. Take the water and drink. No matter any quantity that the water will get you, take it and drink. And I believe with my heart, I take the water and drink. As I wake up, it do as if the one the thing want to rise again. I played the boy, I took the water and oil, I placed the blood of Jesus Christ three times, seven times, and I drank the water. After drinking the water, I have not feel anything like asthmatic again. I went to hospital, they tell me not to eat you, not to eat a goosey soup, not to drink cold water, but not to stay in the fan. But today, and the one taking all those things, even taking extra. Give Jesus a clap of it. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you in our VM. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Bara Baripwadi. I reside at the um, flat six block D, Locust Housing Estate Board. Number what? Flat six block D, low cost housing estate. Bori. I want Bore, to thank you... God. Bori. Bori, okay. I want to thank God for His faithfulness upon my life and my household. Also, I'm very much happy because of the healing virtue of God upon my life. I have been afflicted with asthma for several years, but now I am whole. I can. I'm not using inhaler again. I can travel without inhaler. I know. <laughs> Are you seeing the way God healing people with, with asthma? Give Jesus a clap of him. So, she has already mentioned her address. Can you call her address out? People can go and find out. Was this girl using inhaler before? Was she was it asthma before? Your yeah, address again. Flat 6 Block D. Low cost housing estate. Boring. Good. Can the, I, can the, I look at where here? are you from? So that when they investigate here, they can also investigate in your community. I am from Yege. In eh? Yege. Yege community. Yege community in where? Gokana local government. Gokana local government. Yege community. Which, what's your compound? Nke Nam's compound. Nke Nam compound. So go and find out. Give Jesus a clap of friend. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
My name is Henrietta Victor, and my mom's name is Enjoy uh, Abel. My testimony is on healing. On Wednesday, on my way back from work, I got a call from my mom that she saw something on her back. So I became panicked. I said, okay, maybe I should start coming home. She was like, it's already 7.30 to 8, no need to come. So on Thursday morning, when I was about traveling for my visa, I went to the house. I was in the taxi. I've not even come down from the taxi. I just saw a very big lump on her back like this. I said, ah, is this hunchback or something? She said, no, I woke up in the morning and I saw it. I just said, let me call Pastor first because me, I don't understand this, uh, this thing. So she gave me one number that Pastor gave to her. I called it and he prayed for her. I said, say, I drink the blood of Jesus. She said it three times and he said, it is done. Come on Sunday. So I called him back for myself and said, so I'm going for my visa on Friday, but I'm going Thursday. And that's today. He said, when he started praying, the phone started misbehaving. The only thing I heard was, it is done. And he off the phone. So on Thursday, when I got to Abuja, my mother's sister said, asking me of her sister. I said, she's well. In the evening, she was like, you're not feeling too good. I said, my mom is not feeling fine. We saw one big lump on her back. So she was like, ah, ah, we need to pray. I said, I've prayed. And pastors also prayed. So on Friday morning, I, left, I woke up before they even uh, woke up from sleep because of my interview at the embassy. So when I came back from the U.S. embassy, because I got the visa, as pastor also prayed for me. So when I came back, the, my auntie's daughter told me that she dreamt that night that my mother died. Ah, I became panicked. I just waved it off with faith. I was like, don't worry, she will not die. All of you should go and play. It's just small sickness to go. So that Friday night, my cousin, Mrs. Harcourt, she came to drop her children and said, ah, pastor is in Abuja, they have night VG. Immediately, I just swore my dress. I was like, ah, I did not even know there was a night VG in Abuja. So I just swore my dress and took the address from her and said, I will come. When he got to one-on-one counseling, pastor said, Say what you want. I say, sir, I've called you on Thursday that my mother is sick and you have prayed for her, but I still want you to pray again. He now prayed, touched my head. While he was touching my head, I had a feeling to just put my hand behind my back just to represent my mom at that point. And he said, take family deliverance as God will have it. Before I came back from that night's VG, my mother said, D, it's in us. The thing has gone. Clap for that to Jesus. <laughs> so I also want to thank God that on that Thursday, I called pastor for two things. That I wanted to get a U.S. visa and I got it on Friday. And on Saturday when I came back, my mother is healed. And um, this um, summon prayer, I had seven requests. I especially um, did research on how they do petition and petitioned it and filed it <laughs> and I, and the way I was documenting it, my mother was like, ah, ah you did go court. I said, ah, that's how the case is. I told God, I don't want any person to seek and die in my house. And God has confirmed it. I told God I wanted a visa. God has done it. I told God that I want uh, supernatural uh, favor and restoration. God gave me a contract this, um, that, this week that passed close to some millions so I just want to thank God. For Give Jesus a clap of it. Once you file your case, God is a God of justice. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Jane Nandi from Eche. And Eche. Ihe Eche. Eh? Ihe. Okay, Ihe. Eche. So I'm here to testify to the glory of God for how God delivered me of pie. Of pie? Yes, that I suffered for 10 years. Ten years by in your bara by. Eh? So I went to many hospitals. So I take drugs. Still, the sickness is still there. So my one of my friends that used to worship in Opie, then now directed me uh, November last year. 
that was anniversary day. So when I came, as I, I was given assignment. So December 31st night at Dr. Jesus City. So we went there. I bought coconut, 100 naira. So after you bought coconut, you can buy the coconut from anywhere. All you need to bring for me to pray on it. Can buy it my one by two, my three, anywhere. Can buy it from Kaduna State. Bring and come here, pray. Uh -huh. So after that, he blessed the coconut. Then I shed the blood of Jesus seven times. Then I speak to that coconut. Since that day till now, I've not experienced it again. And before, before, the, before that thing was happening, when I go to the toilet, I will stay three hours in the toilet. I will not even poo. Then I will stay two weeks, three weeks. I won't go to the toilet. Because if I go to the toilet, I will, I will be shitting out blood and the pain all over me. So before that, my friend now directed me here last year. So I got my... So friend. since that time, no more? No more. The sickness gone. Come, stand up. For confirmation, your address, please. Okay, I live at uh, Ruma Hollow. Number what? Number 12, Faith Avenue. Number 12, Faith Avenue. You can go and make an invest. Okay. Eh? Close to those are uh, resorts. So, make investigation. Not Sokoto. Nidam. Dr. Jesus the Nation. God is here. My name is Baniku Justina from Ndele. I do come from Ndele every day to this church. You come from Indele every Sunday? Yes. My testimony goes like this. I located this great commission. Since then, it has been faithful to my family. <clears throat> yes, I dedicated our land here. Mm -hmm. I give so at least two, three testimonies. How God healed me from my affliction. My testimony today is from my brother. Yesterday, I came back from my farm. My brother came to me. That he was going back to, to work on Friday. On his way to his house, when he came back from the house, march outside, something bites his leg. He did like this, he couldn't say anything. He even removed the sandal, he couldn't say anything. He said, ah, ah, what is happening? Arrow. God, what is happening? And he said, I covered this my leg with the blood of Jesus. He tried like that and went to the office. He said, when he was going, he entered his side car, his hair swelled up. Sweat was coming out from his body. Say, God, what is happening? God, what is happening? What did I do? I've not killed anybody. God, don't allow anybody to kill me. He tried to office. On his way back, he couldn't walk again. The leg has swelled up. So yesterday, he met me. I said, God, Dr. Jesus, what happened? He told me everything. I ran inside the house. I bring out Dr. Jesus oil. I shouted Dr. Jesus seven times. I pour it on his head, leg. I wanted to rub. He said, no, sister, don't touch. The one that happened to me on my hand, anybody that touch it, it will affect the person. I said, it will not affect me. He said, no, don't rub. I said, okay, rub it yourself. He rubbed the oil down. The legs were from the knee down to the toes. He rubbed it. He went home. I finished what I'm doing. Around 5 o'clock. I said, let me go and see my brother how far. Reaching there, my brother, the leg has go down. He put his leg. The leg has gone down. Clap for that, Jesus. That is why you need to have the oil and water always with you. Not leg of 5,000 naira for small one. 100 naira. But yeah. 100 naira. Or what? Eh? So when I went, I saw him inside from putting his leg inside rain boot and walking. I said, hey, hey, brother, what happened? He said, that this your oil is powerful. Take money and buy one for me <laughs> as you are going to do. So I came to give God glory for healing my brother. <laughs> give Jesus a clap of him. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you. You know the end. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You just listen to the testimonies. You've listened to the message. You are next to testify in the name of Jesus. But if you're not born again, I can lead you to Christ right now. Can you just lead away where you are? Lay on the screen. Let me pray with you. Repeat after me. Father Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm sorry. I promise not to go back to my old ways again in the name of Jesus. Now, let me pray for you. Wonderful and great God, 
You say they want to eat my people that I call my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn it for them. Can waste. They will learn from heaven and I forgive and say, I hear the Lord. Hear the Lord of the children today in Jesus' name. Congratulations, you're not a new creature. All things have passed away and everything has become new. Now, you can see me. You can come and pick an assignment. You can come and see me by the grace of God. I'll give you an assignment. The assignment is free. You're not paying any money. In fact, if you go to any church and the pastor says, before you see the pastor, you pay money, that pastor happens to be an amroba. He's a thief. He's a rogue. There is nowhere the Bible says, before you see any man of God, you pay money, or you feel form, or you do this express. So you can come and see me, and I'll give you an assignment, and your story must change in the name of Jesus. So call me on this number, and Dr. Jesus shall meet you at the point of your need in Jesus' name. There's no one like you.